Hello and welcome back to this British accent series. Today we're back up north and we're looking at the Manchester accent. So who is going to help us? This is Cora. Cora is from Manchester. That means she's a Mancunian, or some would say a Manc. Hello Cora. Hello. There are many variations of the Mancunian accent, so what we're looking at today is just general. All right. So the Mancunian accent is a northern accent, but there are some specific features, specific for the people from Manchester. And if you're trying to achieve a Mancunian accent, then perhaps you want to look at being a little bit more nasal, more nasality in your vocal placement, and perhaps over enunciating some of your vowels. But first, let's look at some of the dialect that you would use. So here are some words that you might hear in Manchester. Chudde, chewing gum. Can I have some chudde? Could I have some chewing gum? Myva, trouble. Sorry to myva you. I'm sorry to trouble you. Gagging. Thirsty. I'm gagging for some water. I'm really thirsty for some water. Dead. Very. Oh, that was dead good. Oh, that was very good. Mint. Excellent. That was mint. That was excellent. Scraking. Crying. Stop scraking. Stop crying. Brew. Cup of tea. Do you want a brew? I'd love a cup of tea. Strop. Tantrum. She had a strop. She had a tantrum. Snide. Tight. Don't be snide. Don't be tight. Anging. Disgusting. Oh, that were anging. Oh, that was disgusting. Sound. Decent. Oh, he's sound. Oh, he's decent. Buzzing. Excited. I'm buzzing about tonight. I'm excited about tonight. Out. Anything. Have you got out? Have you got anything? Excellent. Now let's look at some of the vowel changes that we would hear. Firstly, the short vowel, uh. Cora would say, uh. For example, in the word, shut. 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 Shut the door. Shut the door. Lovely. 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 She's lovely. She's lovely. Up. 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 You're going up in the world. You're going up in the world. So the next vowel we're going to look at is the long R vowel. Mm. In many cases, this is replaced with ah. R. R. Ah. For example, in the word last. 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 That's your last one. That's your last one. Bath. 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 You need to take a bath. You need to take a bath. She's right. Past. 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 It's half past one. It's half past one. The next sound is the TH sound. This is often replaced with an F or a V. For example, in the word think. 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 I'll have a think about it. I'll have a think about it. With. 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 Are you going with her? Are you going with her? Weather. 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 Whether the weather is cold. 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 It is cold, isn't it? <laughs> Awful weather today in London. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He didn't even say thank you. He didn't even say thank you. If a T appears in the middle of the word, then it will be glottalised. For example, water. 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 I need to drink some water. I need to drink some water. Letter. 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 A letter arrived for you. 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 Better. 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 I hope you feel better soon. 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 Meter. 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 Don't forget to check the meter. Don't forget to check the meter. If an H appears at the beginning of the word, then you'll often find it has been omitted. For example, house. 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 Are you coming to my house? Are you coming to my house? Home. Um. Home. Um. You need to go home. You need to go home. Happy. 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 I'm feeling happy today. I'm feeling happy today. 
How come? How come? How come? How come? How come you didn't come to my house? How come you didn't come to my house? Hiya. 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 She didn't even say hiya. She didn't even say hiya. Finally, we're going to look at the ing sound. Now, in standard English, you would hear walking. In general northern, you would hear walking. But in Manchester, you'd hear walking, which is the front of the tongue forward and up on the roof of the mouth. And again, walking. Great. So, I went walking. I went walking. I went walking. I went walking. Meeting. 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 I'm meeting him here. I'm meeting him here. I'm meeting him here. I'm meeting him here. Waiting. 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 Don't keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. I wouldn't keep her waiting. <laughs> watching. 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 I've been bird watching. I've been bird watching. I've been bird watching. I've been bird watching. Well, here's a story for you. Sarah Perry was a veterinary nurse who'd been working daily at an old zoo in a deserted district of the Territory, so she was very happy to start a new job at a superb private practice in North Square near the Duke Street Tower. That area was much nearer for her and more to her liking. Even so, on her first morning she felt stressed. She ate a bowl of porridge, checked herself in the mirror and washed her face in a hurry. Then she put on a plain yellow dress and a fleece jacket, picked up her kit and headed for work. When she got there, there was a woman with a goose waiting for her. The woman gave Sarah an official letter from the vet. The letter implied that the animal could be suffering from a rare form of foot and mouth disease, which was surprising, because normally you'd only expect to see it in a dog or a goat. Sarah was sentimental, so this made her feel sorry for the beautiful bird. Before long, that itchy goose began to strut around the office like a lunatic, which made an unsanitary mess. The goose's owner, Murray Harrison, kept calling, comma, comma, which Sarah thought was an odd choice for a name. Comma was strong and huge, so it would take some force to trap her, but Sarah had a different idea. First, she tried gently stroking the goose's lower back with her palm, then singing a tune to her. Finally, she administered ether. Her efforts were not futile. In no time, the goose began to tire, so Sarah were able to hold on to Comma and give her a relaxing bath. Once Sarah had managed to bathe the goose, she wiped her off with a cloth and laid her on her right side. Then Sarah confirmed the vet's diagnosis. Almost immediately, she remembered an effective treatment that required her to measure out a lot of medicine. Sarah warned that this course of treatment might be expensive, either five or six times the cost of penicillin. I can't imagine paying so much, but Mrs. Harrison, a millionaire lawyer, thought it was a fair price for a cure. So there you have it, the Mancunian accent. I just want to say a huge thank you to Cora. You have been amazing. Cora is an actress and has a website all of her own, which you can check out in the description box below, along with many other fabulous links. If you are not already a subscriber, then please do press that big red subscribe button and the bell notification button to let you know every time I upload a new video. If you are interested in accents and learning more accents, then there are many others in this series, so do take some time to check those out. Otherwise, you know how much I like a thumb. Give this video a like, take care and goodbye.